Hello, welcome back to another Got to Have video. The Gambler is out in force this week. Some really fun listing uh, to talk about. First up is this Fantastic Four number five, advertised as VF minus. Okay, let's take a look and then let me know what you think about the grade. Okay, decent looking book. Hard to say about restoration. So let's assume that there is no restoration, okay? For the sake of discussion, because it's hard to tell. You know, there's some there's some spine take, okay? The front cover looked pretty clean, right? Except for that uh, little smudge there by uh, Sue Hands. Let's see, back cover. Nice and bright and white. I like it. I like it a lot. But here we go. You see what I'm seeing? That's two pretty long creases. Okay? Two pretty long ones. One is probably around four and a half inch, and the other one might be even six inches. Okay? So they definitely color breaking creases. Okay? So Let's see, another angle outside of the bag, look nicer, right? The front is, is great looking, okay? Beautiful front, that front look like a, a, an 8.5 book, right? Easy. Another view of the front. See, all that spine tick is a little bit too much for me to, to give it beyond an 8.5, but yeah, the front look 8.5. Inside, nice and white pages, beautiful book. Okay, very nice looking. I wish there was a full, uh, a, a different angle of the back cover. Okay, the last page. So, so what do you think about VF minus? Okay, I think. The grade is definitely not VF minus. <laughs> I think the grade is more in the fine minus. Okay, so hopefully the seller, uh, let's see what the final price is. I think I already highlighted. Okay, so it is 7,900. Is that a reasonable price for something that is 5.5-ish? What do you think? Hard to say, but there you go. Here's another one. Like I said, the gambler is out in force. Tail of Suspense 39. Look at this one. Very good condition considering age. Let's see. Uh, it's estimated to be between 6.0 and 5.5. Let's take a look. Nice looking front cover there. Oh, you see that? subscription crease right smack down the middle here's one thing that's always bothered me when i see any listing on ebay okay or anywhere if you have a book with a fold like that unfold it straighten out the book okay it's, uh, it's not that hard to do <laughs> i'm just like if the book is fold like that just fix the fold okay do something nice for the book, please, people. What do you think? Is that me being too picky? But I know people. I had known people that would put the book back, back in a bag and board, fold like that. Because it's already full. They, they, they don't see a need to fix it. So it's unfolded. Jesus. Okay. The spine is okay. Look pretty strong. Okay, the staple look decent. Good pictures. Okay, so can't I, I cannot complain about the pictures. Now we have seen book. Okay, we, I, I I can't say enough about how, you know, a book with a subscription crease can be even a six point oh. Not that I agree with that, but I have seen enough slabs with a sub crease that say six point oh. So it can be a six point oh regardless of what I say, but I think 
Okay, let's see. But usually when I think a, a book that is 6.0 that have a subcrease, the subcrease is only bad on one side of the book. You know, sometimes the back cover or the, or the front, nice, nice white, off-white page, right? But see, this one here, I think the subcrease impact both the front and the back. Okay, but you can't really see it on the back, okay? Barely, you can barely see it, so it's all depend. You know, this book is, is I say it's more like a five, okay, in my opinion, because it's technical, to me it's a classic five-pointer with a sub-crease, because it has just enough wear. But, you know, if you can press out the back cover, and have it nice and clean assuming there's no color breaking area then yeah can it be a 5.5? Five, five? yes maybe but I don't see it as a 6 so I don't think the seller here is that far off in my opinion who knows you know there's I'm, I'm sure there's always some people out there that say no that book is a 3 right if, if you have a book like that that you want to sell as a 3 please sell it to me, especially if it's a major key, while while it's ready, if you think that's a three, check out this six point five. Nice looking. Look at that. No Marvel chipping. That's a sharp looking six point five. Hey, eh? look at that. Look at the back cover. Look at see. Nice. Really nice. So. A lot of people was bidding sixty five eight hundred. Now this one is wowza. Would you do it? If you had the money, would you do it? A complete set of Star Wars nine point eight. Even one. I think the only thing that's not there is a uh, is there a price variant? I guess there's no price variant. Let's see. Yeah, there's no uh, no three point five, uh, no no um, no no thirty five cent variant. So I think that's the only thing missing. But everything else is nine eight. Look at that. Would you do it? I don't think the is a price seventy one nine. Hopefully it's not because that would be crazy. What is the sales price? History. Forty-five grand. Okay, still, I think that's a pretty good price for the seller. I think forty-five grand. Wowza! How about this beauty? Okay, beautiful three-point oh showcase for eighteen thousand two forty. Now that's a nice, deep, rich color. No complaint here. Not. Not like the other faded copy that we keep seeing, right? That's nice. Okay, look at the back cover. Not bad. Okay, that's a good looking. Okay, that's a good looking 3.0. Who's gonna complain about that? No major creases. You see anything? All right. Sure, there's some creases on the top edge, but no, not one of these big corner creases that you see in other 3.0. So nice, very nice. Look at this. Amazing Fantasy 15 2.0, 14.4. Let's take a look. Big corner crease, okay? Big, almost three inch corner crease there. Marvel chipping. Lots of wears on the spine. Cover detach, you see that? There you go, cover detach. Yes, a cover detached book can be a 2.0, okay? I have seen many, so it's not like, <gasps> no, that's that's right. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I, it's not the first time that I see a 2.0. This one is pretty, you know, this is a rough 2.0 in my opinion, because look at that, look at the back cover. I have seen much nicer 2.0, much, much nicer. Regardless, someone bought it for 14.4. How about this one for eleven nine? What's wrong with this one? 
Mary Centerfold 2.0. Okay. Lots of wears and tears. Look like the cover is still attached, but wow! Look at the back cover. There you go. There you go. See, here's another example. You see that little piece on top there? If I was CGC, I would at least fold it back before you slap the book, right? I don't get it. I don't get people that just leave things the way it is. This is like, why? Why not? If you fold a piece of paper back, that chip is going to be a lot nicer looking. But hey, that's me. That's my OCD. <laughs> 11 .9 for 2.0 Mary. Strong price. Now, this copy is funny. This copy was posted up in a CGC forum for like a month. A month okay and it was not sold so it was finally posted on, on eBay and it sold in like almost immediately so let's check out the price uh, it's a decent 0 0.5 okay at least it's complete 7347 7347 it was listed on in the CGC forum for six thousand something it was under seven thousand but no taker so on ebay it sold for more maybe after paying ebay fee the seller get a little bit less but regardless hey it's complete to me i, I thought this book could have been a one to be honest many people thought this book could have been a one because it is complete with a big ugly tape but compared to many 0 0.5 with the back cover missing or something else missing. It's a decent, decent book. All right, that's your bottom level entry. How about this? Would you do this? Spider-Man collection 100 to 441 straight. Straight. Man. You know what bothers me? The pictures. Okay? The pictures. Can't get a closer picture of the most valuable book, Spider Man 129. Oh, come on, right? Isn't it aggravating? Do yourself a favor. Give yourself a better picture so the seller can. But hey, maybe that's the reason. No need to do it. Someone tap on that. What's the price? What is the price? What is the price? Seven thousand. <laughs> Look at the offer. Twenty-two hundred, three thousand. Oh my goodness! It's all kind of crazy lowballer right here, right? And then someone coming with seven grand. Now, would you do it for seven grand? Eh. Okay. Somebody did. I would not, but hey, that's just me. Now this one is an interesting looking book. Okay, you got. Spider-Man 1 6.0 Stan Lee sign Okay Stan Lee written on cover all right not a big deal sharp looking book okay trust me it is razor sharp looking book look at that the corner is nice the spine is super nice. Okay, everything is super nice. You know why this one got a 6.0? Look at that. That's it right there. Damn, look at that. That is what hurt the book more so than the uh, Stanley's signature. Oh. Bizarre, isn't it? I have never seen a miscut that looked like that. Interesting, right? But yeah, 10850 No slouch here. That price is pretty strong. 9.8. Giant size X-Men 1 are heating up, okay? There was time two years ago when this book would not go anywhere above 6000 
I have seen so many copies of this book in 9.8 go for 6,000 or so, or even less. But man, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. I mentioned X-Men 94, same thing. I sold my 9.6 copy, is that three years ago? Yeah, three years ago for probably, uh, I, I think I sold mine for almost $2,000 less. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember, I think I sold mine for $2,800 three years ago. So this book is also exploding. Goodness gracious, right? My God. X-Men heating up. Um, this is just a PSA. If you're gonna pay this much, go to my comic shop. Go to my comic shop, please, please. This book's a three point five. Yes. Okay. Go to my comic shop. You do yourself a big favor and save yourself seven hundred dollar plus. Yes, you would. Same here, okay? Same here. Regardless of what kind of incentive eBay give you, as far as eBay bucks, you're not gonna get a better deal buying this book for $600 or more, less on my comic shop. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna keep doing this every time I see something like this on eBay. Go to my comic shop. Save yourself some money, right? Would you do this? Batman won. Eight grand. Coverless. First, second, third, fifth, and sixteenth rep missing. A lot of missing stuff. Somebody tap on that for eight grand. Okay? Incomplete. Let's see. FF1 2.0. Look at the price. Look at the price of this 2.0. Goodness gracious. Man, piece is missing right there on the bottom left. Okay, hard, hard to tell what is wrong with the front beside a lot of Marvel shipping, right? Hard to say. There's some creases everywhere, but it's a 2.0. That looks well, fairly graded. Nothing to complain about the 2.0. But the price, wow, 5400 Yes. Is this going to be my favorite? My favorite? Yes, this is it. Believe it or not, this is my favorite of the week. This is a steal. A steal. For those that are into DC horror, come on. Look at this book. Look at this book. Look at the spine. Look at the edges and corner, right? That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, the seller has it at what kind of grade? Fine minus? Uh, what do you think? The front look a lot nicer, right? Unless there's some kind of flaws hidden that I can't see. Look at the back cover. Back cover, okay, a little bit dirty. Nothing that can't be cleaned up. There's a little sun shadow. Perhaps the seller is old school, but uh, that sun shadow is not bad, okay? It's not bad at all. You know, I, I say the book is uh, 8.0. I can hear some people rolling their eyes right now. 8.0? No way. That book is a 5. Yeah. It's my opinion. But still, to me, 31 bucks is a steal for this gem of a classic key. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.